Billy is out of Fairhope, Alabama. He's a he's a southern boy. I like starting my bacon out on low. He's frying it really pretty. I've turned it up to medium. See if we flip on here. Oh yeah. Put this on air fry. Actually, I'm gonna put it on, on bake. Put this. Oh, they looking pretty. Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to my kitchen. Have you figured out what I'm making yet? And bacon, that French bread that I've toasted, some good lettuce, tomatoes, and what are those peppers there? Well, let me show you what I'm going to do. We're going to make the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate BLT, a cowboy BLT. This is a cowboy BLT, not for the faint of heart. Let's get started in putting this stuff together. So I've got my toasted French bread. I'm going to put some Miracle Whip light. Yeah, like light makes a difference. I actually like the taste of it. You want a generous amount, you can use blue plate or whatever, Special K, GW, it don't matter. Just some, some kind of salad dressing. I right, say so you don't want it, you know, you're going for the gusto. Be sure you got plenty on here. That ought to be enough. I've done all the hard work. I slipped in a snapshot of the bacon. I cooked it yesterday. So what I'm going to do, assemble this. I'm going to take my ro romaine lettuce and once I cut it off, I smash it flat to kick the rib flat. I just find out it, it's easier to eat, looks better, don't make any difference in taste. So. And if it's too long like this one is, I'll just tear it up and eat it like a rabbit. Just eat some salad. Okay. Get some of my good stuff out of the way. You still wondering about those peppers? What they are? I'm gonna put the tomatoes on. Not super thick sliced. but good enough. This right here, yeah, my hands are clean and I'm eating this, so it don't matter. This is cowboy candy. I did a video on it, you can find it. You can also find a video on this bacon. Now this cowboy candy is cooked down with brown sugar. It's glazed with molasses and all cooked in a skillet and then I do it in the air fryer to dry it out. Oh my gosh, it's some good stuff now, boys and girls. And this bacon, you see this glazed bacon? <laughs> I'm surprised I I made uh, five or six pieces, but I had to test one, and then I had to test another. So, uh, get up here so it'll stay. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test one of these today. Oh yeah, and this bacon, 
besides the brown sugar and the molasses and the glaze. It's got, here it is, right here, crushed jalapeno peppers sprinkled on it. Another layer of flavor. Another layer of flavor. this baby assembled. Let's see if I can get it sliced in two without everything falling off of it. How's that look boys and girls? This is going to be so good. Let's get a bite of this sandwich. My mouth has been watered since I've been assembling it. It's going to be so good. It'll be a little bit messy, but that's okay. Mmm. The sweetness of that tomato. That bacon is sweet and spicy. And those jalapenos, those cowboy candies, it's right up. Oh. And the bread. Ooh la la French. Pretty good stuff. Mmm. This bacon is from Bill Lee's Bacon, Fairhope, Alabama. As I like to say, L.A., Lower Alabama. Small batch bacon. He does everything in-house. Cures it, puts his cure on it. I forget how long it marinates in the cure, but I can tell you it's really good. And his curing in his little kitchen area is right behind the stage where he has people sing. So he, like he said, his bacon gets serenaded. Yeah, that's what he puts. So I'll leave you a link to uh, that he just sent me this morning about his fall specials. And it's really good bacon. It's thick. No, no flimsy stuff here. And uh, you didn't think I was just going to let that other piece just lay there. Mmm. And where did I get the idea about doing candied spicy bacon? Yeah, of all places, early 60s, Gomer Pyle Show. Shazam! He cooked uh, in the mess hall one time. He was being punished. He went over there and did some cooking. And I think the base commander came in and needed something. And they said, well, nobody's here. And he said, well, can't you fix me an egg or some bacon? So he did. And uh, the bottom line is... The commander fell in love with his bacon, and he asked him how he did that. He said, oh, his, his aunt or grandmother or somebody would fix it. And right as it was getting done, he'd, she'd sprinkle brown sugar on top of it, or maybe just sugar, I can't remember exactly. And uh, let it kind of let it, it cook and caramelize in. And I tried that maybe five or six years later. I was, you know, out of school, camping, and I found out right quick, that's a real deal. So, uh, I've been making it ever since, and I've got a video of me making this uh, candied, and I put a jalapeno pepper on it, uh, sprinkled some dry seasoning on it, and I've got a video on it. I'll leave a link uh, to the video, and uh, if you want to make you some, get right to it. It's really good. It's pretty, actually pretty easy. I used my cast iron skillet. And then I put it in my air fryer just to dry and caramelize everything on top of it, the brown sugars. It's really good, so. Bon Appetit. Mm. 
see y'all in the next round at the Old Dude's Bar and Grill.